I am all it. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Essa and today I am going to be trying to do a vlog. So yeah, because I have a really exciting day coming up and um, so basically I'm going to be shooting 30 pregnant ladies. I had already told you guys that I am actually a photographer so today I have um, a really major shoot. I am at the Jukwa Lounge at Uhuru Park so yeah I'm going to be um, I'm really excited about this day because bump shoots are my favorite type of shoots to be honest like if you have followed me in my photography journey you really know that I am quite passionate about bump shoots so getting to photograph 30 ladies at once with in all their bumpy glory that is going to be really amazing so yeah, I'm looking forward to having you guys along on this day. Um, for my outfit, I have the simplest outfit because as a photographer, you want to be um, as comfy as possible so that you're not fussing over your outfit, you're not lifting your tops, you're not um, bothering with what you're going to, like, you, you, you want the focus to be on the people you're photographing. So today I have on a really plain outfit, a black, black tee, um, jeans, and some simple shoes and I have my camera here so yeah that's pretty much it um, I'm excited to have you guys along for this day it's going to be probably the whole day so I will be showing you clips from today and yeah Jia uli tengeneza We wendi we ebeneza Mweza Yote Hoza Na, na kuita baba Na kutaza mia Nisipote Ewe mwana Mwana wada udi Sikia yangu sauti Usinipite We started at 11. Wow, I know. So, um, uh, I know I don't have that much footage, but I hope you guys will um, enjoy the video. So, please don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to see how the photos turn out, um, just visit my Instagram page for my photography. It's in the description link. And I'll see you again next time. Goodbye. Um, the last time I vlogged was on Saturday so I am actually heading to a supermarket right now I need to go and get some supplies um, because I need to do a DIY today so I am heading to a supermarket near me called Kamindi anyone who lives in Dunham knows Kamindi or also known as Selfridges so that's where I usually get my supplies um, so yeah I need to get spray paint and some stuff that I've run out of so I'm just heading there um, really quickly so today i am coming at you without makeup so this is what i actually look like in real life <laughs> um so i only have um lipstick on and a bit of eye pencil and yeah so 
if anyone actually lives in Dunholm and you like getting you like doing DIYs, I would recommend that you check out Kamindi because um, for example the spray paint, the prices start at 200 to 350. And for other supermarkets, it starts at around 350 going onward. So I actually prefer Kamindi for that fact. So I'm just heading there right now really quickly, just a two minute to five minute walk. And then I'll be back and show you guys the DIY. hot as hell out there so if you guys remember this bag that i got from gikomba um i couldn't get straps too much so i got black straps so i want to do a quick diy i bought um white spray paint so i want to spray the whole bag white pure white plus the straps so I'm a bit nervous about that, but um, we'll just see how it goes. So yeah. So yeah, I'm a bit nervous about that, but we'll just see how it goes. And because it's a quick DIY, I didn't feel like doing a whole video in it. So yeah. So this is the spray paint that I got from Kamindi. Like I told you guys only to 20 shillings so this is the color i want to just try it on a small section and see if i am okay with that so here we go I think the black the black part will need like two coats. Hopefully this <laughs> I hope this doesn't backfire on me guys. Uh, okay. Let's just do it. We've already done a spot. So let's just go ahead. actually coming out really nice like if you compare I actually really love it So that's how it's come out. Let me just bring it to the shade. And that is how it looks. Uh, 
the bag is completely dry. That's what I like about spray paint. It dries so quickly. So this is the outcome. And I really love it. I love it, love it. Love it. Completely dry. It seems like I missed a spot here. I'll just redo it. I'll do this flaps under. And like under here. This part. So yeah. Really not regretting buying this bag for 50 bob. <laughs> if you haven't watched my Gikomba uh, haul, please do watch it and you'll see this bag and more that I got. Uh, okay guys, so as I wait for my bag to dry, I decided that I'd show you the few things that I got from Kamindi. Um, I didn't get much because this time what uh, I mostly wanted to concentrate on was the um, white spray paint because I still have a lot of supplies that I have not used. Um, I still have a couple of DIYs that I bought stuff that I still haven't done. So first I got this high high tech silicone silicone sealant. So I've seen a couple of people talk about using this as an adhesive, as a glue. So I bought it so that I can try it out and see how I like it. Because it's bigger than most of the glues that I have. So yeah, I'll be trying it out on an, another DIY so that I can see how it works. And then I got my main glue as of now, the Uhu glue. This has quickly become my favorite glue because it's like um, a thicker version of super glue, a bigger, thicker version. Of, uh, you guys have actually seen it in, in video, so there's no need for me to open it. So yeah, this has become my favorite. As you can see, it was only 180 And it, for me, it's really worth the money. Considering super glue is that tiny and is like 35 bob, and this is bigger, and it's 180 I feel like this is worth it. And then, of course, the white spray paint. And finally, I got for a different project um, about half a kg of nails. So let me just show you. It's this tiny nails. So yeah. Half a kg was, was it 90 bob? I think it was 90 bob. Or 120. Yeah, so that is all I got. Because, as I said, I already, I still have some supplies. And, um, yeah, so once I'm done with the next couple of DIYs, that's when I will upgrade my supplies. Especially when I go to town. Because there's some things like, um, the glue sticks that I need to go to town to get. So yeah, that is pretty much it. And then, cause I've just realized that I don't have anything else that I'm going to do today. Um, Zaria is already home, so my time all goes to her. So um, I guess this is the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, being my first vlog. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you come back for more. Um, so based on what I bought, I think my next DIY video, Sunday, Sunday's DIY video, won't be a DIY video. It will be a DIY essentials, my top five DIY essentials. So that I can, because I've done a lot of DIY videos, and since I want you guys to be doing the DIYs with me, I'll show you guys the five things that I feel that I have used in every single video, and that I feel is important for you guys to buy, especially for a beginner 
so yeah um that's the end of today's vlog uh so i hope you guys liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up please share on the comment section say something small i don't know anything um don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and have a good day i'll see you again next week goodbye Ona hakuna jambo geni kwako wewe ni nayo wezo wako sina